And there's a successful trip to the Harbor Freight. All right, here's my Harbor Freight haul. All this stuff is for the trailer. Well, actually, the winch is going to be removable. So anyway, let's get to the winch first. I bought this 9,000 pound winch. Um, actually, has several different speeds. You can turn that and do all kinds of things. Turn it back. But anyway, that's a uh, 9,000 pound winch with 65 feet of cable. And uh, that was just, um, it was $300, but I used a 25% off, and so I got it for $200, but plus tax and shipping. It uh, ended up being like $240 something. And that actually, when it got to me, the box was just destroyed. <laughs> um, so that's why it's not in a box. So, uh, okay, what else I got was a hitch receiver mount for your uh, winch. So this will mount onto that, and then I can plug that into my hitch on the back of my truck. Or this. This is a uh, step bumper receiver hitch that I'm going to weld right here on the trailer. So then I can just slide the winch in place and have a place for the winch. So that's what I got there. Uh, it comes with a controller and everything. In and out. And so I also got this uh, swivel uh, uh, back trailer jack. So I got that. I got uh, drill bits. Big 29 piece set. Extra chain links. And some hooks so I'm gonna start I think uh, now by uh, welding the bumper bracket on and uh, or mounting the uh, hitch the, the the winch to the hitch thingamajig it works but I think I'm gonna need better batteries that's with the remote yeah I'm using a jumper and a uh, 600 cold cranking amp battery, but it might be it might need to be attached to a vehicle that's running. Um, yeah, just if I put it on here on the trailer, I can't do that. So I'll have to think about this. If I did those two car batteries in series, maybe or whatever way it doesn't make 24 volts, but yeah, could do something like that. I'll play around with it. It's easy to mount it to the bracket. Bracket seems pretty heavy duty. The only thing that's not heavy duty about the bracket is these handles. Handles are made of light metal. But you know, you can see how thick that is. It's pretty thick. Um, the bolts going to the uh, the under part of the winch. The winch was actually a little bit stripped, but only on one. So it's fine though. It works. So now I just gotta do my uh, little square tubing hitch there, and then I'll be able to. Uh, just attach this right in there and then I gotta figure a way to put the batteries I have a one battery box I need to make something to hold them I guess so I just welded this receiver right here pretty good welds it's already uh, taken a wire brush to them got slag off anyway I welded up the holes too they didn't include bolts or else I would have bolted them so uh, this is good and on there it's not going nowhere and uh, that's what the winch will go into and that way I can remove the winch if, you know, I don't feel like it's safe leaving it on a trailer. Which probably might not matters where I park my trailer. My house is probably okay, but if I'm going out at a restaurant or something or going into a store, I might take it off and put it in the cab of the truck. So next I'm going to take these pieces of angle iron and I'm going to basically weld them going like this. Uh, make like a battery rack. I have uh, battery boxes, or one battery box. And uh, kind of make this neater and uh, weld it in place. And then be good on that, install the battery box with some uh, self-tapping metal screws, and we'll be good. And uh, here's the uh, the winch. It's finished, finished, installed. I do need to get a better battery, but I did test it, and it does work. You can see I mounted it on the actual hitch. Uh, this is a receiver you buy to mount your bumper. I bought it and welded it to there, and I uh, got my pin in there. And then I got the uh, uh, $50 um, special mount that allows you to mount it to a square tube receiver. And uh, it's all good. That's 65 feet of cable. It's a 9,000 pound winch, which uh, might sound like overkill, and it is. You'll probably get away with a uh, 3,000 pound winch for pulling cars up on a trailer. But uh, I actually bought it for dual purpose. I'm going to weld one of those square tubing things to my skid steer. And that way if I needed to winch down a tree and cut it, and that way I can direct where it falls. So yeah. Uh, you know, next I need to replace the floor on this trailer, but other than that, 